Hello everyone, today we are going to see how to install WordPress 3.3.1 locally on a Windows 7 machine. For this we need two things, one is WAMP server, WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP. When Apache is your web server where all your web applications are going to be deployed, My MySQL is your database. Uh, think about database as a container for all your uh, data I mean you just dump everything in your container and then using PHP you extract what is necessary from that container and PHP is what WordPress is written in so first of all we have to get all the both the software so I'll go to my browser and I'll type www.vampserver.com slash e and this will take you to the English version of the vamp website and then I'll press downloads you will be scrolled down to the download section where you are provided with two links one is for the 32 bit software and the other is for 64 bit software i'm using a 64 bit machine so i'll be pressing on this link uh, i've opened this link in a new window and in this window you'll be take getting an internet form you can just fill this stuff and then download or you can download it directly using this orange link it's hidden somewhere in the whole form Press on this orange link, you will be taken to a sourceforce.net uh, link and then a window and then you can download it. I have already downloaded it, so I am not going to download it. Next, you have to download WordPress. Don't go to wordpress.org. Please don't go to wordpress.com. It's a totally different thing and that they just they're not at all same. So go to wordpress.org and then here is the nice download button. You can press this download button or if you want to or if you want older versions of wordpress you can press this download button this orangish one and then go there and uh, then click on uh, release archive link this will take you to uh, another window where all the previous versions of wordpress are here everything is here right from 0.71 go to the latest 3.3.1 um, uh, you might ask, uh, you might wonder why we need older versions of WordPress. That is because uh, if you are creating plugins or themes, you need uh, it some kind of backward com backwards compatibility. And to test this backward compatibility, you need uh, uh, older versions of WordPress. Now I have downloaded both of them to my desktop. Now, now I will install the VAMP server. To install VAMP server, double click on the VAMP server software icon. Then you will be presented with a dialog box asking whether you can either you can run the software or you can cancel. I'll press run and then I'll press yes and then I'll press next. I'll accept the agreement and then I'll press next. I'll uh, make sure your uh, directory is the same as the default VAM server, VAM server 2 directory. It is better for many reasons, so just don't change it and uh, you can either check or uncheck these icons it's up to you and then options sorry you can either check or uncheck the options and then you can uh, yeah you can just put press install and then this is a pretty fast install it will get installed in what some 25 to 30 seconds vam server will ask you to choose your default browser if you're on a windows machine just press open don't worry about it And then uh, it'll ask you to specify the SMTP server and uh, your email address. Just mention this, it's okay, just leave it as default. Anyway, this is just a local machine used for <coughs> testing and production. Just press finish, press yes. If you notice in the near the tray, uh, this particular VAMP server icon will generally have three colors one is red uh orange and uh, green each icon signifies a different uh, state of vamp server currently the vamp server is offline to even though it is green it is offline you have to force it to go online so just click on it and then press put online sometimes your vamp server might icon might be stuck at some uh, orange or red what you have to do is start all services or put restart all services just press on either of these things you will uh, generally that will solve the problem after installing VAMP server, what you have to do is create a database. Click on VAMP server icon, you will get this particular um, option box and then go to PHP my admin. Uh, your um, 
default browser will open and then yeah and then you your you'll be taken to localhost slash php my admin slash and then go click on this databases link and then you'll be asked you can create a new database here i'm going to create a database named theme test because i primarily work on wordpress theme so my database is named theme tester you can name whatever you want press create and then uh, you'll get a confirmation box saying database theme tester has been created go to this theme tester database and uh, if you want to make your uh, database more secure you can go to privileges and then you can edit privileges and you can do a lot of things you can have a password or you can do whatever you want uh, right now i'm just not going to edit any privileges and um, now we'll go to our wordpress install double click on this zip file and uh, i'm using winrar and you have to extract this particular folder wordpress to your desktop now first thing you have to do is rename this uh, folder to whatever you want your call, you want to call your website as i want to call my website as theme tester one uh, now open this folder and you find that there's a bunch of uh, PHP files and then a, a couple of uh, some three folders and again these folders will contain some CSS and again some PHP files uh, Basically, it's all uh, you don't need to know anything about it except for this particular file wp-config-sample.php You have to rename this file to wp-config.php Rename I'll highlight the th stuff that has to be named this dash and sample. So hit delete and then yeah, you have saved the file name wp config.php. Now you have to edit this file. I'll open this with uh, Sublime Text 2. This is a wonderful editor, and I advise you guys to go through this editor once. You have to define a few things. First of all, you have to define the database name here. Somewhere it's on the 19th line. I guess probably you'll also have it on the 19th line. Just change the database name to theme tester and your username is root and password is nothing. Save this document and then close it. Now you have to put this folder in your uh, web applications directory that is www directory in the VAMP. Uh, server folder go to local disk c vam www paste the directory yes you have pasted it and that's all you are you are just a few steps local host slash theme testers one then you will be presented with this particular screen where you uh, wordpress will ask you to install it and site title is put whatever title you want if you are designing primarily for themes generally try to put a bigger title uh, so that you it's more you will understand later um, I'll just put my initials as username password a strong one always make it a habit to put strong passwords your email just type in some email address and then it's up to you you can either allow your site to appear and it doesn't matter because it's just on a production stage development stage sorry. install wordpress it will take some time to install wordpress uh, they say it will get installed in five minutes and that's perfectly true yes my wordpress got installed and now you have to click on this login button my initials and then it on. and here is your brand new wordpress install voila thank you for listening bye